bit of a different mix up. We're going to do some comics. Been animating for quite some time. Uh, haven't been doing any streaming of comic sessions in forever ago, like a couple months. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't actually stream penciling, uh, but we're going to ink, and that's kind of like the usual shtick with, uh, with all this stuff. So let's get into it. Let's put on some jams. Let's get some music going, and uh, we'll, we'll just jump right in. So uh, what are we going to listen to? Let's do some 80s. Okay, I, I'm not feeling this. Um, this is better. This is better. I like this. Cool. So, let's get into it, shall we? The most boring part is the beginning where I have to do all the borders and everything. It's got a good beat to it. I like this song. Hope everybody is having a good day. It's a nice morning. It's Tuesday. It's uh, looking kind of hot. I don't know where about you guys are, but for me, it's it's kind of kind of spicy a little bit. 
been turning on my fan. How's everybody doing this morning? Still like early, it's like 11 o'clock. Could be afternoon for you ladies and gentlemen. Or it could be evening. You know, I, uh, I'm in a server that's international and apparently someone in the chat is like, good evening. What? <laughs> I'm still waking up, man. So this is going to be a little bit of a different page for me because usually I bust out this guy, my G-Pen. I love this tool. I want to get it as a tattoo. But, um, you know, with, with all these perspectives, um, I got I to gotta be technical. So I got my ballpoint pen, my felt pen to get the job done. Right tools for the right job. Comes in handy. It's like being a carpenter or something, you know? You have a tool for every little thing. like a long ass time on this building when I was penciling this this was a challenge in a good way though I mean it I like I like challenges that help me get better um, you know that's why I like this comic is that it's pushing the limit of what I'm capable of but um you know, it's 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 a fun comic. I mean, you know, this scene is pretty cool. We get a pretty badass introduction in this scene. And this is my favorite character in the comic too. That's that's another thing I like about this page is that I get to draw our hero, Snow White. She is basically like you know, just a sexy assassin. I, I, I can't I can't really describe her other than just like fun, seductive, and badass. 
you know, she's, uh, gives me kind of like a Kill Bill vibe, a little bit, like, uh, Uma Thurman, Kill Bill, and, uh, obviously she's inspired by, like, Pam Greer, but, uh, yeah, uh, she's, she's my favorite character in the comic, hands down. actually enjoying this like usually I get kind of put off by perspective like oh man it's, it's math but you know seeing it line up is like putting together a jigsaw puzzle or something it's satisfying at the end you know it's like all lining up and everything it's like I get it now I see the pieces of the puzzle coming together. It's fun. It was hard, but now the challenge is over. You were a vegan, now you be gone. Lately, I've been kind of in a Scott Pilgrim kind of mood, and I'm, I'm going to rewatch that movie again. I own it. I, I come back to it. It's like, you know, a comfort food movie, you know? Um, but uh, it's one of my favorite movies. Definitely, like, out of every movie that came out in the 2010s, Scott Pilgrim was, like, 2010 in the summer, and, uh, you know, Expendables and Scott Pilgrim came out in the opening weekend. And, um, uh, that was, those two movies were my favorite two movies of the 2010s. That whole summer was awesome. Let's see if we got the creator in the chat. <laughs> okay. We got a special treat. We got the creator of the comic. Uh, let's see if we can get him in the live stream and get everybody excited for streaming Moppy. Everybody who's uh, who's a fan of uh, Stringy and Moppy, man. Hey guys, how's it going? This is the creator of the comic. <laughs> I'm just uh, doing, you know, the first page, getting it all done. I don't know if you're watching. I am. What do you think so far? It looks really, really dope, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's fun as hell to do, man. I mean, like, the diner, I don't mean to brag, but I spent, like, three hours on it, so I think it looks pretty fucking dope. Yeah, it looks really good. It's like, no joke, man. Like, your pencils look great, and your inks 
basically once everything is done it's gonna look really fan freaking fantastic thanks man I'm I'm definitely looking forward to the rest of the series and like you know um, when I was reading like catching up on the adventure begins um, what was the name of that that group that's like the cat soldiers tell us about those guys So basically what they're all about is like, they're basically are like a government-backed supernatural police force, um, much more like the plumbers from Ben 10 and the men in black from, well, um, the men in black. Nice. <laughs> basically, basically they are like the, uh, the enforcers of the law and everything like that, trying to make sure that there's balance between all the community as well as, uh, do they have like the flashlight? You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They do? Yeah. They actually do? Yep, they have the flashlights, the weapons to back it up, the money to back it up, and everything like that. So think of think of Tomb as like the establishment and the Sky Titans are basically like the indie like basically like the indie it, uh, the independent law enforcement agency. What I liked about Tomb is their character designs. Like, you know, the first time you see Tomb, you're like, are these guys like special bad guys? Like, are they, are they like a SWAT style bad guy? Because that's the vibe I got. Like, you know, they're very organized. They have an intimidating cat mask kind of like, uh, like uniform. They, they look like, uh, cross between like James Bond grunts and like um and like Egyptian god characters uh -huh. they're basically like special forces yeah was that kind of the vibe you were going for is yep. yeah yeah it was yep. uh -huh. sweet that was definitely the vibe <laughs> <laughs> expand a little bit like it expands a little bit on who and what they are starting with their director um of course by the name anubis washington see yeah yeah i i got an egyptian vibe from them i wasn't sure but that's exactly where my mind went was egyptian Yeah, I mean, like, you know, obviously Victoria, the, the you know, the main villain of the print comic, she's like, you know, she's, uh, she's the main villain, but she doesn't come across, like, the, the, the organization, you know, she, she comes across more like, like a boss fight, you know what I mean? Right. Like she, she's getting orders from what was his name, Tomb or no, not Tomb? Uh, what was his name? The big guy. Was it Slade or something? Hello. Oh, there you go. Okay. What was what was the name of the, the the big guy with like all the tattoos and everything like that? Like, you know, the guy pulling the strings, telling telling Victoria, you know, what to do and stuff like that. Tell us about him. Oh, uh, Jonathan Staples. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, Jonathan Staples. He is. Think of Pappy, but with little to no lines that he'll cross everything right so he is very intimidating he's vicious like if you ever look at him the wrong way he'll just blow your brains out 
doesn't really matter. He doesn't really care. He only cares about one thing for the agenda and as well as for the success of his of his of his organization. Didn't you say that Michael Clark Duncan was the voice that you had in mind for him? Yes. Yeah, like he's got such an intimidating voice. And, you know, both characters, like, literally, Michael Clark Duncan is, like, the biggest guy I've ever seen in my life. And the the pictures of this guy look like a, 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 like, like a real, like, like a comic book version of that. Yeah. I mean, the dude is six foot three. Yeah. Like, is that classified as a giant? Can you call that person a giant at that point? I know, I know a person who's like six foot seven. <laughs> so, <laughs> so basically, yeah, you can call him a giant. Like he's six foot three, weighing three hundred and twenty-five pounds of muscle. Yeah. My cameo. My cameo. <laughs> Dude, thank you for that. Thank you for that. No problem, man. So I was, I was actually thinking about like maybe like putting the cameo of Rick the Falcon in the print and everything like that. Maybe I will. That would be cool. You know, honestly, you've been the biggest supporter of my comic, um, apart from the people who read it. Um, you know, like, you share my stuff, and you even paid for ad space, um, which got me more readers. Uh, the infographics on my uh, uh, globalcomics.com showed that 17 people showed up because of the ad you posted. So, I, I owe you. You know, like, have you been talking to the duck? Mm -hmm. They talk about my comic. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, I, I I I don't hang out on the Discord server too much, so I don't interact with the duck people too often. I don't know if any of them have read my stuff, so that's awesome. Um, the administrator, um, he told me, he told me. Oh wow. So I was like that's what I was going for. That's great. I I haven't checked any of the statistics on there because I just mirrored my comic on the duck. Like I'm very pleased with global comics as a service. Cause you know, they don't bullshit. They basically tell you up front like, hey, we're 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 like all about giving the creators full control so you know what you put on is yours and you can monetize it like it's very much like YouTube and Netflix combined you know uh, if you want to make people pay for it it's almost like Amazon Prime you know what I mean uh, I, I, I gave it all away I gave it all away, but, um, you know, I, I felt like it was a good move because everybody reads it. Everybody reads it. Like, I, I have, like, I want to say, like, almost 9,000 views, and, um, that's, like, crazy to me. I, I, I would have never imagined I'd have a fan base, and I feel like I do, you know? Oh, so are you still here? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. I mean, obviously you're still here, but like, you know, 
if your connection is wobbly and stuff, you know. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I like having you on the show because, you know, this is really about you. Like, this is your comic. Um, by the way, how's it looking so far? It looks okay, this looks great. Hell yeah. I really love the, uh, I like, I'm loving the texture that you gave the architecture of the diner and everything like that. All the little lines and everything. I'm really glad you like it, man, because, like, you know, when you told me that you want me permanently, I lost my shit a little bit. Like, this isn't just, like, you know, a job. I'm having fun. So, like, uh, you know, getting to work on this often is uh, really exciting for me. Are you there? Hello? I knew he'd be back. Hey, hey, I knew you'd be back. What's up? Yeah. No, I was just saying how excited I am. Yeah, I'm here. I, I don't know that jingle. Yeah, it's like that old world jingle. But like before that, I was about to say that like, I really like I really love the texture that you gave the building. Like it was actually something that I was was really looking for. Like it kind of gave off that deep south dilapidated diner that I always see traveling in Jones County. Yeah, when you shared me that picture, it looked like Tennessee. Yeah. Like, that's that's where my mind went. The bayou, you know? Like, yeah. just just the swamp kind of vibe. Yeah. Like, I, I picture barbecue every day. Um, and uh, alligators. Um, maybe, maybe giant mosquitoes that will eat you alive. Yeah. Um... I mean, I'm, I'm getting warm, right? Yep. Uh, where is this? Is this in a fictional city? It's, yeah, it's in a fictional small town, yeah. And you're in Atlanta, right? Yep. So, is this based on uh, your small town? Mm hmm And yes. you said Georgetown, right? Joan County, got it. <laughs> like that's the deep south. Like that's the true deep south. Yeah. Tell us about that. Tell tell us tell us about the the the, the overall like the vibe of the story. Like if you could tell the audience right now why you know your characters are doing what they're doing. Like what? What's 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 their thing? Like what's their? What are they about? You know. The, um, wait, uh, the town, the county, or no, just overall. Like you know, the whole thing. You know. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, overall. So basically, this book, uh, so basically, like for the characters in this story, it's basically that like they're based off certain members of my family. As well as certain members of things that happen to know personally, friends of ours, right? Yeah. Like, 
this story was inspired by a game that me and my cousins used to play. Like, you know, like, name a character, and then you put the power level up, and all that type of shit. <laughs> yeah, you told me that Stringy and Moppy was a character name you made in school, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, how old were you when you made up Moppy? Nine years old. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Like, I was nine years old in Oak Crest Elementary School in Decatur. And uh, I remember that my English teacher at the time, Ms. Shewin, she was a lovely lady. She kind of gave the class like a lesson to, you know, write short stories. So um, I believe that his name was Mr. Earl, the dude that was actually was my, so I'm say my special ed teacher. He sat down with me and uh, basically helped me out when it comes to naming characters. So he told me just to look around, just look around and then just make the name kind of goofy. Right. So I looked around on the closet. And then I kind of pulled something out of my head. I'm like, huh, a string. And then I kind of looked around, <laughs> tried to think about a mop and everything like that. So me being original, I just put a Y in those. So I just kind of put a Y in those words, name it after names. And then at first, Stringy was not a girl. Stringy was a dude. <laughs> Stringy was a dude. I, I I got a similar story with Rip the Falcon. You want to know what his first name was? What? John. I shit you not. John Falcon. John. John. Can you can you just picture the comic, and and imagine him being John? Yeah. I kind of imagine him being an anthropomorphic falcon with the uh, with the western spatial hair, maybe like a ten gallon hat and everything like that. I was very inspired by like you know stoic characters and like Master Chief was like my favorite favorite character of all time apart from Tails, and you know um so like you know. I, I didn't have originality either, like, you know, I just, I just thought the most, like, you know, just, just, like, you, like you said, like, stoic kind of, kind of character I could think of, but, like, even, even then, I'm like, no, this isn't working, this isn't working, I need to, I need to think harder than this, because it doesn't fit, right? You got to go? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, I don't, mm. I don't have to go. Okay. Like, dude, I actually, just, like, dude, I actually took care of everything that I, need, that I needed to do this morning and early afternoon. <laughs> I got a big day ahead of me. Um, I'm getting a grant, and if, if we get it done then I get to uh, get my business and everything registered. Like, like I'll be legit. I'll have an LLC. Which I'm going to say you better get that LLC. Yeah, yeah. It'll it'll be like an official company, and and you know I won't be I won't be playing around. I won't be. You know, just doing this for fun. It'll it'll be my job. This, I'm, I'm sorry, but this inking here looks really crisp. Hell it yeah. Really crisp. And I gotta be the inker? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> the inker for both the webcomic as well as the print, basically. Well, dude, like, I do everything, like, pretty old school like check this out I'm, I'm using the dip pen right now and uh, you know I if I mess up I just fix it in in uh, clip studio paint but you're gonna get like 
you know, those those organic lines that just like are once. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know how um you know how there's there's like old school comic art and you just can tell that it's old school. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's kind of my whole shtick is is you know going for that that old school vibe. And and you said that was kind of like what you wanted, right? Yep. Awesome. Which is why, like, cause, like, um, I, and, and here's the thing, right? So, for issue two of Sky Titans, the rough draft will not be on Celtex. It'll be on Final Draft. No. It'll be on a typewriter. Yes. Nice. That's the rough draft. Now the second draft, yeah, is going to be on a, it's going to be on Celtex. And the third draft will be on Google Docs. Man, I. After it'll be Google Docs from here on. You out. ever <laughs> laugh at your old art or your writing or any of that stuff? Mhm. I do. I All wish I could share with you how bad my Celtex scripts were. Cause like, I wanted to be a movie maker like you did. And I, uh, I had this one character who was British and guess what his name was? London. London? London. That's like the, that's like the most stereotypical (laughs) Canadian British name. That I've ever heard in my life. This is like 16-year-old logic, man. I was I was completely like, yeah, I I had no originality, and he talked like what I thought British people talked like, you know, like how an American would imagine like a British person to sound, like nothing at all, like what they're like. Uh, I said like. Good day, Mr. Big Biz. <laughs> you know, like, it was so bad. It was so bad. Oh, dear, bro. Hold on. Hey, dude, let me go ahead and give you a call back, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll be here. All right, man. to fill up my ink bottle. I think I think I'm gonna do that right now. like alchemy and I'm, I'm Snape right now potions master mixing potions I'm almost out I've had this bottle for like three years Like the this thing, uh, Sumi Ink. I've had this for like 2019. It's right here. It's freaking crazy. I'm just gonna leave that over there. Be very careful.
Yeah, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta refill. You run out of supplies, you gotta fill them back up. That's the thing about traditional. It's uh, very hands-on. Yeah. There we go. There we go. That's satisfying. I could do this all day. It's like scribbling, but better. Okay, so since since we got Mega R. Daniels out, we're gonna turn the music back up. We're gonna crank the noise. We're gonna bring it. This is a funky jam. I'm in a funky mood. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Gonna have a Wahlberg Markathon soon. Watch all the Transformers again. Uh, drink a Bud Light. Not really, because I don't drink anymore. But, ooh. Ooh. Damn, this is a good song. sounds just as good as Stevie. It's fucking dope. That is not easy to do. To outdo Stevie Wonder is like outdoing Michael Jackson in his prime. Like, I don't like Michael Jackson, but I think he's got good fucking music. I miss doing comics. I've been animating like crazy, getting on the tablet, doing color and stuff, and that's all fun, but I love inking. This is my jam. And I gotta hurry, because I got a big appointment in an hour, but we're almost done. I wanted to get a little bit of work done before I have my big day. Wired now. I'm, I'm in the hype mode. I, I got comic fever. I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's do it. I am ready. Gonna do some comics. It's gonna be awesome. Sorry. Feeling, feeling a little heightened on like two pots of coffee. It had to kick in, but you know, I'm ready. By the way, for anybody who is out there listening to this stream, there's an amazing cartoon that's independent like the one I'm making. And it's called uh, Sublo and Tangy Mustard. Or Tangy Mustard and Sublo. I think it's Sublo and Tangy Mustard. It's hilarious. It's, it's, it's like, why hasn't like Amazon or Netflix picked it up and made it like a real show? Because these guys are just, just, they're great. They're funny. They need money. They need your love. They need your views. Uh, Sublo and Tangy Mustard. Go watch it. It's all on YouTube for free now. Oh, yes. I love the lines. I like, I like drawing the lines. It feels good. I like the black. The death and doom of the black and the black night. The darkness. The doomy doom the black deep in my soul yeah. that's that's totally what I'm going with right now no regrets oh freaking love my job I love this shit I love this shit. This is good. I get paid to do this stuff. This is my job. This is so much fucking fun. Here's a pro tip. You see this? This isn't a mistake. This is this is a happy accident. That 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 wasn't a mistake. I did that on purpose. I'm 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 totally in control. I'm not yelling. You're yelling. Always use the extra bit of ink you got. I'm in it. I'm grooving right now. Look, that was a happy accident. I could use this. Watch this shit. Boom. Not a mistake. I'm awesome. I make no mistakes. I'm I'm always I'm always in control. You can't stop this. You can't stop this inking machine. I'm the beast mode of artists. Rar. I don't know what you're talking about. That that was on purpose. Beast mode.
face. <laughs> I just ruined the face. Totally in control. Totally in control. It's okay, I can use this. Karate Kid, baby. Now, I'm a child of the 90s, and 80s movies were still kind of relevant back then. And uh, this, this was on the radio. And it was my jam. This was my jam. This was this was a hit. I didn't know it at the time because I was a child and I didn't understand what like where the music was coming from. But if I was a teenager, I would buy the album. Bananarama.
That does it. We got a little messy, but uh, yeah. Um, what comic page isn't a little messy? Um, we got it done. I'm gonna fix this up in Photoshop and or Clip Studio Paint, same thing. But uh, yeah, I I'm pretty happy with this. I feel like we got, you know. 90% of this looking pretty good. So, um, everybody, I hope you have a good one. I'm just cleaning up my station. There we go. Need a new bottle. It's kind of crooked. Alright everybody, I'll see you next time. Peace.